Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys now. What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, in case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, who's coming towards you in love. What does spirit want you to know? General life messages and some um, messages about your finances too. So I try to cover as much as I can in the extended and I also try to cover as much as I can in the read. So let's see what comes out for you Pisces. Pisces season. Happy birthday Pisces. I'm a Pisces myself. Do give this video a like and let me know when is your birthday. Um, cool. Cutting the deck. I kind of see your message. Love begins and memories of love. There, ooh, new beginnings. I feel like Pisces, you're leaving a past lover. You're leaving a past situation behind and you are wanting to start fresh you're wanting to start new you're wanting to start fresh there's a cycle that you're closing victory and success i feel like in your past relationship a lot of you you felt like you were giving too much okay oh all right <laughs> you felt like you were giving too much too involved into the situation Um, I see you healing. I see you letting go. The universe and new beginnings. The universe and new beginnings. So new stuff is on the horizon for you. New opportunities. A lot of you, I feel like you're wanting to leave behind the situation from the past and you're wanting to start fresh. Look at that Empress. You've gone through a heartbreak, haven't you? Let's see. Give me a message for Pisces. <laughs> what a strange thing that the same card came up for you, Pisces, <clears throat> the universe. Okay. Can you give me one more for Pisces? One more. Two more came up. Okay, accelerated motion, movement, choices, and decisions. So a lot of you are going to be moving forward, but there are choices, there are decisions that you need to make. Um, lots of forward movement. In fact, fast-paced forward movement for some of you. There could also be some travel involved, but things are moving forward. I feel like Pisces, you're seeming like the person that somebody's wanting to have or it's like attain but you're seeming out of reach and i feel like this is a great time period pisces for you to make that decision where you're investing your time and energy where you're putting all your efforts because where your efforts are going and most importantly where your mental energy is going um, is where you will see the results is where you will see things changing Show me what's up for Pisces. I feel like Pisces, a lot of you recently, you separated from somebody. Okay, you decided to let go of somebody and put that focus back on yourself. For some reason, your past relationship, it just wasn't working out. It just wasn't working out. And a lot of you felt like you were believing in an illusion. Pay attention to the dreams and the synchronicities. Your dreams and the synchronicities around you. Your intuition as well. They're trying to tell you about something. Pay attention. <clears throat> pay attention. I keep hearing in this reading, Pisces, pay attention. Pay attention. So... There's something you need to pay attention to.
Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. My God, okay. Calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate, make the effort and chemistry. Somebody is going to be wanting to make effort towards you, Pisces. Um, there is intense chemistry between you and this person and by the looks of it, it looks like a soulmate connection. So a lot of you are manifesting a partner here. For some of you, this person, <clears throat> maybe there. this is a long distance relationship or right now you guys haven't met. At least that's what it seems like. Okay, there's going to be a lot of focus on home for you. Um, also a lot of focus on um, business, not that much on love for you. Not that love is not showing up, but you're not that focused on it. And I feel like emotions are really running high, <clears throat> Pisces. Feeling very emotional, feeling very, very intense. You've been tired. You've been drained. Pisces. It took you a long, long while to find yourself again. I'm only going to be taking uprights. So... Losing touch with your intuition, Pisces. I feel like something wasn't working out between you and your person. Almost looks like a missed opportunity. Oh my God. It almost looks like the selective cards in the deck are reversed for you. Where it talks about perseverance. You're getting over somebody, aren't you, Pisces? You're getting over somebody. You realize that I cannot be carrying this burden on my back anymore. Um, stopped investing in a situation. Okay, show me Pisces. Show me Pisces. Look at that, Ten of Cups. But it came in the reverse, searching for happiness. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you are also ignoring somebody, Pisces, okay? You're ignoring somebody. Something seems like it lacks direction. I feel like Pisces... Um, You didn't feel very welcomed in a situation and you backed off. But the thing is that you had high hopes for the situation to work out. Okay. The next thing I get here, Pisces, is that a lot of you have this idea in your mind that I need to move on. I need to move on. I need to do this. I need to do that. But the direction is not very clear. Okay. So we will see what that is. King of Pentacles. Finding balance. Stability. I feel like a lot of you are not wanting to give into a certain situation or you're moving on from something because of your past experience. A lot of you are in this energy where it's like, okay, it seems like I've done this before. It seems like the way I did it before, it didn't work out. So how can I change things? How can I do things differently that it actually works? <laughs> okay, so that is changing here. Thinking from logic, coming from a place of stability, King of Pentacles. Very nice and good money. Let's see. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, or sleeping at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m. Ten of Pentacles, a lot of focus on money and goals, Pisces. I'm getting that a lot of you are feeling very emotional and emotionally burdened at the time. You don't need to. 
I mean, easier said than done, Ten of Pentacles, energy, stability, balance, growth. A lot of you are looking for long-term stability and you don't want to settle for less, which is great. Two of Cups. A lot of you left a third party situation with a pause person. Okay, the situation just didn't work for you no more. You're about to meet somebody, Nine of Wands, but you're too tired for it. You're too closed off to it. Mentally, I see a lot of exhaustion, Pisces. Something has mentally exhausted you. I also feel like a lot of you have actually overextended yourself to somebody. That's where all the mental um, exhaustion is coming from, where you have overextended yourself to somebody. Again, trying to make a decision, trying to let go of the confusion that surrounds you. It's like a little fogged up energy. It's, it's a little foggy. It doesn't, you know, no idea where am I going. I know I have to move forward, but I feel kind of tired. That is the reason why you have movement choices and decisions. At every given moment in time, you have a choice. You have a decision to make, Pisces. And what will you choose? What will you choose? Show me more for Pisces. Not a silver. Somebody might come in, somebody who wants to work things out with you, but this also looks like a situation that you've lost your passion for. Uh, Pisces, if you can recall, I feel like your past situation or something in the past didn't work out because things were moving too fast too soon. Caused confusion. Somebody came in your life, they didn't give you the time to think, comprehend, you just give in. And then you were like, wait a second, this is not working for me. This is not working for me. You backed off. It's like, let me just recenter myself, focus on my money, my goals, my career. That's it. Okay, let's get your person's energy. There's something work related as well that I see working out for you. Very focused on your money, your work, your goals, uh, Pisces. Oof, whoever you're dealing with, look at their energy. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Who is this Queen of Swords in the reverse? Very manipulative. Eight of Wands, but wants to talk. Two of Wands actually looks forward to talk. Damn. <laughs> I'm not going to say how things are. I'm going to confuse you, Pisces, but I have something to say to you. I have been looking forward to communicate with you. The thing is that this person is hiding something from you. There is communication coming through from them for sure. But this also looks like Pisces. Sometimes this person sells you a dream. This is a very confused individual, which I will get to the clarification in a bit. Show me the outcome for Pisces. Show me the outcome for Pisces. Death reverse or the death card upright transformation changes but there's a need to let go of the resistance okay you're holding on to something too tight pisces um you need to be more fluid advice ace of pentacles a new beginning awaits uh, bottom of the deck wheel of fortune things are changing High Priestess, Six of Cups, King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. This doesn't look like a minor change. This looks like a big change. Give me the overall energy for Pisces. Five of Wands, Reverse. Nice. If this is not the time, Pisces, to fight for the wrong thing, to fight for the wrong relationship, wrong friendship. This is a time to know 
what doesn't make you feel good what makes you feel emotionally discontent cut it out that could be friendship that could be a relationship okay something needs to go something needs to go I mean also making a lot of emotional decisions making emotional decisions Pisces Let's clarify. Tell me Ten of Cups. Ooh, okay. My God, that was fast. Seven of Swords. Not nice, actually, Pisces. The thing is that somebody you thought was going to make you happy didn't make you happy. They ended up doing something else. So that's why your Ten of Cups was in the reverse. <clears throat> it's like I'm almost getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there, but damn, no, I'm not getting there. Show me the chariot reverse. Eight of Pentacles. You were so ready to work on things, Pisces. You were you were doing a lot. You were doing the most in a situation, actually. Um, Ten of Pentacles, just to see it go somewhere. Just to see it go somewhere. But where is Ace of Wands? So much passion that you were sharing with this person. But there was something missing. There was something missing. I feel like whoever you were dealing with, there's passion, there's love, but there is something missing. And that seems to be the stability that you were looking for. Not knowing where the direction is. Some of you also started to procrastinate and you, you know, you started to fall back on your work and stuff. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. let's have a look Pisces let's have a look Finding yourself, finding that growth, that stability within, leading you to the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> lots of growth, lots of stability, Pisces. Um, potential of growth too. What is the Nine of Swords? Show me the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. Absolutely. This person has stressed you out the most. This is their energy. It's like looking forward to a better future. It's like just holding on to that little bit of hope. But it drained you, Pisces. It drained you. It didn't really do anything for you. What is the Ten of Pentacles to the Two of Cups for the future? You're manifesting love, Pisces. A new opportunity, a new beginning. And also money. But a lot of it is a choice or two away from you. Because it's like having to make the right choices is the thing here. You have to make that choice. You have to do the thing. That is required to get done. <laughs> um, show me. Show me Pisces. Page of Swords. The thing, Pisces, is that Page of Wands, a new venture, not a wand. Something new is on the horizon for you. Um... I also feel like you're getting curious about something. You're getting, you know, it's like getting untangled. I don't want to get um, involved in something. So let me find my way out. Tell me something about their overall energy. Five of Wands reverse. I heard end of drama. Four of Wands. Somebody may even want to make peace with you. But somebody you have emotionally detached from. Could be a friend, a lover. Because it does look like that, Pisces. Nonetheless, I see good energies. I see like a, a more calm and peaceful energy. Hangman, there you are. 
So right now you could be in this position where you, you feel like there's a lot that is hidden from you. There's a lot of emotional burden, exhaustion, confusion, feeling stuck. But if you look at your situation, even you can tell that, oh, you know, I've learned so much. I've grown so much. I've done so much. Give yourself that credit, Pisces. Give yourself that credit. Um, the knight of swords to the eight of pentacles what is oh two of swords to the world card <sighs> closing the cycle no longer available i heard no longer available no i don't want to deal with this keep it <laughs> tell me their person's energy why is that queen of swords in the reverse Oh, Pisces, this person feels so drawn to you. In fact, they're low-key obsessed with you, with the devil. I'm going to clarify more in your extended what's going to happen here. This person, I'm also going to see what is something they're hiding from you. <laughs> because it looks like they have something to hide. Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Chariot. They feel so drawn to you, Pisces. In fact, so drawn to you that they're going to communicate with you. For some of you, this is a long-distance relationship. And the thing is that this is somebody who wants to make things right. Why? Because the Chariot there is in the reverse. Now it's upright. Let's make it work. Coming towards you with an offer. Hoping you would accept it. Hoping. Show me Pisces outcome. What is the outcome for Pisces? Show me the outcome for Pisces. Show me the outcome for Pisces. Taking back control, temperance, healing. Take your power back, Pisces. Know who you are, know where you come from. Release resistance. Release resistance. Knight of Swords. I keep telling you that Four of Swords to the Knight of Four of Pentacles to the Knight of Swords, Pisces, you're holding on to something too tight. And there is an uncomfortable feeling that you often go through. It makes you want to take rushed decisions. It makes you wanna um make it's it's like haste creates waste kind of an energy. Don't do that. Just because because this is a very swift energy it's like let's do this pisces let's make it happen let's make it happen does pisces want to make it happen what is the ace of pentacles advice ace of pentacles high priestess you're the guide i heard you're the guide you're the guide pisces you have the map you are the guide you will take yourself forward High Priestess to the Ace of Pentacles. Trust your intuition. Keep moving forward. Um, there are new beginnings, new ventures, new opportunities waiting for you. But are you putting yourself lost? You're not doing what is required and putting everything first and then expecting a different result. This is a great time period to manifest wealth and stability. Where is your focus though? Where is your focus? There also needs to be some changes, um, you know, some changes need to be made in your day-to-day um, -day routine to help you be more productive, I guess. I don't know. Also, beware of illusions. Friend illusions in friendships, relationships, your social interaction. Somebody may not be who they seem to be. That is where that choice comes in. But I feel like even that illusion, that's going to be clear for you because you're a Pisces. You can pretty much tell where somebody's coming from. So trust that intuition, Pisces. Trust that intuition. Okay. Let's give you a guided message, Pisces, to close off this reading. 
and I will be linking your extended underneath the video. And in the extended, I will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It'll be linked below. Like I said, I'm going to clarify furthermore. I'm going to see what is this person wanting to tell you. What about your future love, advice from spirit, a bit about your finances. So do check it out. It'll be linked below. Your message here is surrender. I, I can release my need to control. So you're required to surrender. You're required to let go, Pisces. And let me see, what is it? You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of your external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it's not your job to dictate it. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it. But you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. You know, that is where it comes in where you're trying to fix people. Where you're trying to do the most for people who do nothing for you. Okay? Remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the be the way they should be. Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release the energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors will open that you never expected because you have now given the universe space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. So, that's about it, Pisces. Those were the messages that showed up for you. In fact, let's give you some love oracles too to close off the reading. Show me, show me the message in love for Pisces. The runner, runner chaser dynamic. Who's running away from who? Who's running away from who, Pisces? To me, it looks like there's somebody who wants to come back into your life now that you're chasing stability, now that you're working on yourself. They're feeling some type of a way. They feel like they're losing you, but they treated you like an option before they look at your photos, Pisces. Look at this. I love you and soulmate dreaming about you. Look at how that came out. <laughs> so there is somebody who loves you, who fantasizes about you. And then there's another person who wants to come back running into your life. This could be two different people. This could be the same person. I don't know. But somebody wants you. We will see. So that's it, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. Do check out the extended. It will be linked below for further clarifications if you would like. Take care. Do give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay? Take care, Pisces, and bye-bye.